What up, what up, my peoples? All right, so we are back again. Um, the last design that I was doing with the whole eye, it just wasn't challenging enough for me. Um, so I decided to do a Nipsey tribute. Um, long overdue, actually. So I've already cleaned the bottom of the fake skin and wiped it down with some alcohol. Um, and right now we're just mapping out where we want the stencil. And then we'll just add some stencil. Just massage that in there. Probably shouldn't have used a mer uh, permanent marker, but. <laughs> Alright, so. <clears throat> Again, the fake skin does not absorb the stencil, so it's kind of just want to make sure it's everywhere that where we're putting it. Just hit the head on the camera. Um, hope you guys can see this. Make sure. There we go. All right, so we're just um, putting the stencil here, and then. So when I'm laying out like a real realistic stencil as like this right here, right? So I kind of hold it like that and map out where I want it to go based on our guidelines. And once we find those, bum, line those up, tap, and everything else should fall right into place. Go ahead and get that out. Again, same technique I use. Um, usually if it's on skin, I'll wet this a bit and push outwards from the center by holding it firmly. And just kind of let that sit. You can see it's kind of blurring under there. That's from the stencil. It's look like a good stencil so far. Yeah, it looks like a great stencil. So we'll go again with this. Kind of dab that in there. And while that's sitting there, so this is our out um our reference. And I'm gonna try to get as realistic as possible. I didn't do the lines for these, so we'll have to freehand it from here. Well, that's not too bad because we got this line, we got this line, so we'll just come straight down there and make it narrow very dark hues and this is more show to show um transitions from dark to light softly um it's not too many details like that you really can see other than the chain it's mainly like uh, a silhouette almost and then we'll transition try to get all these little hair details and see as um, how realistic we can get but voila all right so we'll go ahead and let this dry for a bit and then we'll jump on it and um, actually I think I want to put something down here to kind of well we'll figure it out later but yeah definitely um, we'll start with this side here and then we'll probably do another portrait here um, probably uh, probably a Kobe honestly but yeah we'll be right back let this dry for a little bit my peoples and then back at it again one eternity later what up what up my peoples all right so as um the stencil finally dry you know um so again i'm not too sure if i'm gonna keep this in one full video um but we'll just go through it i'm gonna add this picture on the side but this is what we're working on today it's a lot of little details that we'll have to figure out. Um, I'm actually gonna set my iPad up so I can actually see this. Let me move this. Hey, that to you. All right. 
friend and your puppy drop the round and drop the rubber. Who this fuck? You must be drinking we be. Who this fuck? Never mind. All right, so let me set the iPad right here so we can see where we're going. Uh, you going to leave if you go back, bro, today. So, Needles Choices, um, I think I, got, I still have the 11 out. I have the 7, um, what's this, the 9, and then we still have the 13 that we're going to work with. All right. So this is pretty much like a, almost a silhouette for the most part. Very dark around the shirt, the hat, the chin area down here. It gets a bit lighter starting here and then dark again. Um, yeah, so we'll see where we're going right here. We got to get some dark, dark tones in here. So I'm going to actually take this off so I can see it a bit better. I don't want to be right. And we got zipper black, um, triple black, 16 drop, 7, 3, and then 1 for our lightest tones. And you guys can see that, so we'll be able to keep up with that part. So I'm going to start with the 9. Just love it, honestly. It's like one of my favorite needles. Put some music in my head. Put that hood melody on. And since we're gonna start off with black, I'm gonna cut the machine up to about an eight. To kind of get some of those dark tones in. And this is the first part. So again, I'm gonna start by lining it out, just bouncing that line here. Not too far because the hair is going to be a bit darker in some areas. So I just want get, to get that line in there. And that's nice. So for the packing, we're going to do tight circles. This work down back and forth. And then steady strokes to blend it out right along that line. That's one thing with this um, ink, it's just crazy. find a solution that works with this um i've heard about dish soap actually helping with this but i've really had a chance to try it out this base I'm gonna go down to my seven drop and just push in from this line and that'll give us a nice blend and 
and this tone comes up to about on this base and then it gets darker there so steady strokes make sure that mag is um flat is not angled because you'll get mag lines and that's one of the hardest things that um i had to understand when and then just blending those tones together And this line here, that's where we're going to come off with the dark. And then we'll figure out how to do the hair. Um, I see where it's at. It's darker some areas and lighter some areas. So I'm going to come right up here. And this comes. I have a line here. Backstroke right into those those shades already. Kind of dull out this white as well. So right off of here. Pushing it in from that line into those lighter tones. Again, steady strokes, same consistency and speed. And then if we have to build it up later, we'll build it up. That's no problem. But what we want to focus on now is just um, getting the transition very, very smooth. So the shirt actually looked like it's moving. So come again here. Get these lines crispy. somewhere so far so let's smooth in this between the black it's 
right over the top. Mm -hmm. All right, this part is lighter, so we come from dark to light here. Um, let's see, so let's go with our, we don't want it too dark, so let's go with the seven still. And whatever's left inside the, the tube from the black, we'll go ahead and do that. Keep that in there, mix it. So first what I'm gonna do is come around the tones that's the lightest. So right in this area is the lightest. And I'm gonna come right off of this line first to kind of push that up. Right off that line, and just push. I'm pushing down based on the, um, the reference. And then some loose circles to kind of blend this part in here. That's a nice, nice transition. Now that that's there, we're just going some very, very loose circles. Just to get that color in there. Very, very loose. And I'm actually go down to my one drop. Go right over the top, very slow. And I'm still running my machine on eight. I haven't turned it down yet. All right, let me wipe this so we can have a clear understanding where we at. Gotta actually put some muscle in this. <laughs> uh, all right, so with the same tone, I'm gonna just kind of smoothen this part out with this one, just move slower. I don't want it too dark around here. So this would be perfect. Just kind of blend everything out while darkening this corner in your area. Right over the top. I just want to make sure this part is smooth. Um, I see some mag lines and that'll throw things off. But because it's the shirt, it'll give um, the appearance of like fabric. But I just want to focus on smooth on this. Yeah, that's your thigh standard. You don't reach, you don't reach. Yeah. All right, with this part, um, I want to go with I'm gonna go with my um, 16, and I'm gonna just push. Not too much, but just to get this a little bit darker here. Show the 
difference in the shirt and then right over the top. But not too much, we wanted to stand out. And it's actually dark here, so we can use this. Kind of push that out some more. Tight circles right here to pack this in. And I'll leave you alone now. Keep up by my side. Big fat bends your drive. And with this part, I have to kind of wing it so. Put some some lines in here and then we'll figure those out a little bit later but that'll act as the chain all right so this part is lighter that little cert right there Darks. Let's get a little clean off. All right, so we're gonna finish this part first and then we'll push up to here and then work towards the face. Um, I'm gonna change my needles to the seven just so I can get more tighter lines and just kind of uh, map out everything. So I'm gonna start here. Let me add the lines back on my iPad so I can see. I'm lining this out, but I'm also shading them in tight spots. So I can just knock those out now. And it's also, I'm not doing a hard line. I'm kind of moving the needle steadily. Um, well, steady, I should say. So it's not going to create those hard lines. It should be a bit softer. All right, so from this part down, we're using pretty much solid blacks in these areas. Well, it's a little area right here that's not solid black. So, so I'm gonna I'm gonna use this uh, 13. Put the needles back here, so we have a smoother transition. No, uh, no, I'm not gonna go over that. So I'm gonna hit it with the solids. Make sure that's yeah. I 
should have used the nine for these tighter areas. Yeah, I can already see this is not going in how I want it to go. Right now I'm doing small tight circles with the 13 mag and just working right off those lines that we created earlier. I like the nine when it comes down to any tighter areas. The 13 is smooth, don't get me wrong, but the nine, so triple black, right? If I hit this area that actually needs to be hit, it's supposed to be lighter than the triple black. It's so soft. But we need a harder hit. So I would recommend, um, like I said, I really don't use the third, the mags itself, but I would recommend um, the 13, let me say that, um, mag for tr smoother transition. Um, but as for like um, hacking or harsh tr um, transitions, if you want something to actually look gritty, I will definitely recommend that um, that nine <clears throat> round mag, the curved mag. I love it. And you'll see the difference here when I. I'm saying though it just hits a bit harder. You can get more solid. You can already see where the shirt is coming, we kind of bring that out. With any form of art, from what I've learned from tattooing, painting, it's all about tones, honestly. Tones can take a picture from any level to a level of greatness, and it's just about the tones. Let me hit the back real quick. bit smoother and I'm gonna do the same back here those dinner bibs get eat up real quick so yeah that's what we're gonna do our, our work into the dinner bib is gone at this point and then we'll go from there all right so this has a sharp line here so I'm coming off the line we just made and just kind of adding some loops to show the chain, add a little more detail to it so it's not a straight line. Kind of show some flow in that chain as well. 
and then from this line it's a bit lighter here no i'm lying it's darker here um it's lighter here in this area so you can kind of just start right here if you wanted to and just pack that darks right in there now with this going from dark this dark to this dark we have to make sure this this um solid black takes it has to be darker has to has to or you'll lose that whole foliage So we have those lines in here now, and we just go. Make sure we get that fold in there. And tight, tight circles, pushing away from the line. Remember it gets light up there, so we'll whip it out. And also hatching um, like this smooth back and forth strokes and I kind of hatch it. Um, to have smoother transition. Again, all depends on what I'm doing and the texture that I need. But in this case, we want some really nice dark transition from dark to light. So we'll play around with it here a little bit. Alright, so again, we hit it here. And just real fast over this area, just put the tone in here. Let's give this a nice cleaner. And you can see the difference in the transition. And that's what we want. We want to be able to show that shoulder portion. Um, I'm going to hit it one more time here. And then we'll transition back to our 13. For the smooth transitions here. No, actually, we'll do both. Because we'll, this is completely dark until we get up there. see the difference with the the 13 mag and this nine the nine just packs
from that line, we're just pushing right up into the dark tone. And I kind of like that light part here, so I might leave it, um, darken it a bit though. tone in here where the chain is at because it's darker around the neck then I'll outline this one part of the chain make that a bit darker So I have some light tones in the middle here just to show the shirt moving. Um, decided to leave it instead of packing it in. And then back over here again, start with some pack work. And again, I'm following my tone, I mean my reference. I'm not straying too much from the reference. Uh, Transitioning that, that dark blacks out. this part here. And I jumped into my um, 16 drop. Kind of knock this in here. So it's not too dark as the triple black, but it's going to give me a nice transition. Soap. 
don't seem to help. Yeah, the green soap does not help at all. And we already started with some nice transitions. Um, see if we can knock this chain out here. I'm gonna use the 16 drop so it's not too light. I mean, not too dark. Let me go back and outline it again. And then we'll start adding some details. Again, following my reference picture, adding the tones where they need to be. Right, so I added my dark tones with this um, 16 drop and then with the tones that's already still inside the, the, the tube I'm just gonna go to my seven and we're just outlining we're not outlining we're just um, gonna stemple some of these shades in And again, following, making sure I follow my stencil and my reference picture. And just working every individual um, piece of the um, chain. I'm not trying to overwork nothing or work big areas, just one at a time.
All right. I still want to come back over here and smoothen this a bit. That's a little too light still. So I'm gonna come with the 13. And then I'll come with my, let's go with the, let's go with the seven. It's darker here. So I'm gonna come right off of this top. Alright, so I want a, a, a soft blend from here to there. So I'm gonna start here and just push. And so far you can see where we're going with the um, the shirt. Now we just gotta go into the hair. And the hair is very, very dark. Also, so we're just gonna blend all that in. This is gonna be a little challenge because I don't have the, um, the stencil here, but we'll figure it out. <clears throat> we can actually start here and just kind of push that in. give us a sense of where we're going. So just to separate this from this, I'm gonna use the um, the 16 drop and I'm just gonna backstroke it in. So I'll put that line in here. And you can already see that backstroke. And I'm paying attention to the, um, there are some highlights around his tattoos. So I'm just backstroking into it. That was weird. They had the light cut off. Oh. Ah, uh, let's see. One second. All right, I don't know what happened there. But back again. Um. So as you can see, the transition is already from dark to light on the neck. And we're definitely going to get lighter. I just want to make sure I have the, I mean, darker. I just want to make sure I have those darks in here first. I mean, those lights in here first. And then I'll go darker from here up. Actually, we'll make this crease a bit darker than down here. But yeah, you just want to come off this edge and blend these two together. Just a little bit. So you just come from the black and push. 
And you get a nice transition. If I can get it clean. So you can kind of see that there. And now I'm just floating the needle around this. Kind of bring this out a bit more. Let's go with the solid blacks with the ink that's still in our um, <coughs> tube. That way I'll blend together. And we're just going to put some solids right around here. The first thing I want to focus on are these solid blacks here. After I got those tones in here, because we could just whip things out and have smooth tones. Now, in this area, because I understand this part is a bit darker, it's a crease, even though he's looking up, um, I'm going to make this part way more darker than this part, even though the reference doesn't show it. So, with this same tone, I'm just going to outline it again, real softly, consistent strokes back and forth as we come down. Pushing up a little bit with the corner of my mag here and there. Kind of add some tones in here. Going up. And that's really what I want right there, as of right now. Just so I can see where I'm going. Just in case, like if I'm, like I said, if I'm um, doing this on a person and the stencil is not working, I'll do these. And this is why I know from here down is what I can work on without erasing anything in this immediate area uh, just look like again once just little tricks I've learned along the line and with this black I'm just gonna whip up right off the base of this line two tones we have here and we have here. Here is lighter. So we'll backstroke this in here. Yeah. Come right along here. So many little details I'm trying to avoid on the racing but Harsh. Now I'm going 
tight circles, not too tight, um, but I'm, I'm moving very slow. Into the direction that I want to go into. Um, so you should see a transition here. We can get it clean. And you can already see it's starting to come together here. Uh, like I said, those tones. It was almost a silhouette, so as long as we put the tones around it, you'll start seeing the subject come to life. And we'll even this, or smoothen this out a bit here before we move forward. Let's have some type of tones going forward. circles again to blend this in. The darks to the light. Just have a nice little transition here. I'm going to go down to my seven. Just kind of blend this in. Yeah. Come back down here to seven. Tight circles. in some areas because there's little patches here down here so we're building up tones and yeah already we starting to like again starting to see it the vision is coming to life Let's jump back with the flats, triple flats actually. And same concept again, just tight circles. So I'm whipping them out. edge of my mag to just put this um, tone right underneath this lip easier to do it with a liner but yeah <laughs> way easier to do it with a liner kind of already see right here by me adding this extra dark here uh, opposed to everything being the same tone down here you can see how this part stands out a bit more and for me it gives more of a realistic feel just because you know Since that's running out, let's go with the 16 drop and right in here to go consistent strokes right up in here.
circles to blend everything out. Or um, loose circles actually to blend everything out. And we should kind of start seeing a difference here. All right. Let's now we're just going to push this out. circles to blend right around these edges here push this all the way. Push that all the way out. And very, very loose circles to blend everything together. This bottom half here. Colors. Uh, I'm not too sure if I'm going to do the tattoos uh, just because they're so, so small. So I'm just most so focusing on the shade for this, for these videos here. Smooth transitions, shading, um, not too much line work and all that good stuff. But again, I'm going to come with the... Uh, what was that, the seven? And right off my pinky, I'm gonna just kinda float. And again, I'm paying attention to to all my tones on the reference picture. I'm not shying away from it. Um, that's how I'm getting these, these tones is pretty much by paying attention to my reference. There's no way around it. Realism, you need a reference unless you just, your mental library is just, you know, crazy. And because these are light tones as well, we can go right over the top of these, the stencil, and it'll still be there. Um, we're doing darker tones if we do do them. The tattoos are darker. And then we'll just add a, a highlight around it or darken those pieces up. But either way, everything needs to be. So one drop here, everything needs to be covered. Um, especially around this neck, there's really no um, highlights. So 
So this one, one drop mixed with, with um, the, needle, the ink that was inside the tube. And we're just um, blending all this together. Right off that edge, just blending it all together. Again, this is the, the one drop with um, whatever was left inside the tube. And this is just for blending it, smooth transitions, um, just working backwards from dark to light. And just smoothing everything up before I do that. Let's fix this here. And if the skin was red, sometimes you actually have to allow that, um, that red to heal. Well, you should allow that red to simmer down. That way you can see exactly where you're at. And if you need to hit it again, if you do have another pass, then you can decide on where to actually put that pass. But yeah, so far we've worked down here. Um, I think we did like an hour or so on this. cleaner Nice transition is from darks to lights, lights to darks. Um, we did some nice, uh, smooth, um, what's this called? Packing work. <laughs> I'm sorry. And just for the life of the tattoo, if like in this area, if I'm doing solid blacks, then yeah, definitely I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with a liner. Um, just, just to, like I said, for the life of the tattoo itself. I'll just hit it, hit it with the liner. And then with that liner, you'll also make certain parts um, sharper. And that's what I don't like is that hardness of it. So right in that area, I'll go ahead and um, Stipple that out to kind of transition in. Right over the top, real fast. Just so you can kind of lighten up that, um, soften up that line, I should say. And there's some hairs that's sticking down, so we'll go ahead and add those. And also, I'll just take this part there. 
something like that. Mm-hmm. Different, but he said. I want to get into the face, honestly, but um, I want to make that a, a portrait. I think I just want to do a whole nother video just for that particular segment of this part of this um, tutorial for the face itself. Because that this is a lot of um, soft blending, backstrokes. It's not too much packing at actually. It's really lots of soft blending and so forth. Um, the hair is not too much, but the ear is very uh, complicated. Um, I've seen a post or somebody I think asked me how to do a realistic stencil. And sometimes the stencil can, can confuse you. And that's why I'm looking at my iPad as well as my reference picture. So I have my iPad on the right of me and my reference picture. <coughs> printed out on the left of me and I'm just following both both um, iPad and the reference photo it's the same thing but sometimes you can't see things on the stencil like this just looks like lines but if I can track down the lines and I can understand okay that's dark this is light and so forth um, but yeah for the most part it is we're getting somewhere I love how this is coming out Ooh, I shouldn't have did that. Yeah, so the green soap is not helping. It's just gonna ruin my stencil. I see it. Let's get that off there. Let's see if we can clean this up some more. But yeah, definitely so. I'll definitely um, jump back on this. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to put, like I said, do it in one whole video or we'll just break it up. But, oh, I didn't add the S to his eye. So we'll have to free him. Right. Yeah, I'm going to do all these tones. I actually like them. So we'll get into those um, a little bit later. But yeah, definitely. Um, if you guys enjoy this if this is helpful in any way shape or form um go ahead and um add a like subscribe to the cha channel we can't do what we're doing without y'all and like i said if you guys if this is helpful for you guys um i'll definitely keep this up in between my clients um just don't kill me because it is kind of hard to you know maneuver everything but definitely definitely um all right my peoples see y'all another time and as always Thank y'all for tattooing with Malo today. <laughs>